if you clicked on this video, I'm going to assume that you either want to learn how to sew but you're not really sure where to start, or you just want some really really super cute sewing patterns. So today we're going to be talking all about sewing patterns that anyone can make, no matter what their skill level is, and a lot of these are also going to be really quick to make and not use very much fabric, so no matter how much money you have to spend or what your supplies are, you should be able to make something from this list. They're also great for scrap busting and super quick gift ideas because they're super quick to make and a lot of them are quite small so you can use up all those teeny tiny scraps. I'm also going to be showing you guys a range of different patterns so there'll be some garments like outfits, there'll be some room decor, some accessories and some other stuff so no matter what you like there should be something for you. So I'll leave them linked all down below if you want to make one and without further ado let's get into it. The first pattern I'm going to be sharing is this really cute tote bag. I love sewing tote bags because everyone needs a cute shopping bag so why not make one yourself. They're super easy to make and they're also really great to customise. You can add lace, you can add ribbon, you can add a really fun bold pattern or a really cute strap detail. I've also seen some people do like these bow straps which is super easy. You literally just need to sew two straps instead of one and then you just tie them together and bam you're done. So, so great to customise. Another bag I really like is this patchwork one. It's pretty similar but it has a couple more pattern pieces so it'll really get you used to using a couple different pieces, sewing them together, figuring out which one goes where. I think it's a great beginner friendly project for that reason and it's also super practical. There's also this foldable bag I found which I actually want to make one myself. I think it would be so useful and it's really cute. You'd honestly use it every time you go shopping or it's a great thing to just keep in your bag in case you need it. And there's also this shoulder bag, which I think is adorable. I really want to make one. They were really trendy a couple years back, and I think they're still going strong. I think they're super cute, and it'd be a great way to test your skills by adding in the zipper, but it wouldn't be too complicated, and you don't need to worry about any fit issues that come with garments. If you want to make a tote bag, but you want to elevate it to the next level, I also found this scrunchy tote bag. This is a free pattern, and I think it's gorgeous. It'd be so easy to make, and I think it looks really elevated. Just how they make the scrunchy bit is they just put a little bit of elastic, so it's really easy to do. But I think it looks really good, and I think it'd be a really fun project. The last bag I have is just this super cute like little moon pouch. I think this is adorable. Again, it would be super quick to make. And you could put little crystals in there, little snacks. It'd be great for organising. Or you could even make it and use it as like a gift bag and give it with the gift. It's like a double whammy. Now one of my favourite things to sew is hair accessories. I think they're so cute and they're really, really easy to do. My favourite thing I've been obsessed with, I literally have been wearing it probably four times a week since I made it, is this bandana. They're so comfortable and they're really easy to make. They're literally just one big rectangle and you just have to hem all the sides and then that's it. Like it's so easy. So I highly recommend you guys make a bandana. But if you're not really a bandana fan but you still want kind of the same vibe, you can also make this really cute headband which is kind of similar but obviously it has a little unique flair. And you can also customise this again, like you could add embroidery, you could add lace, ribbon, so there's heaps of ways that you can make it your own and make it super cute. I also found this knotted headband, which is another little play on a classic headband, but I think it's adorable. If you're not really into headbands, you can also make these super cute scrunchies. Honestly, I've never met someone who doesn't like scrunchies, like they're just like a hair tie but better. And I also always lose my hair ties because they're so damn small, so I feel like scrunchies are big enough that like how am I going to lose it? It's so giant and it's also way better for your hair. So it's easy to make, it's good for your hair and you won't lose it, so I count that as a triple win. But yeah, they're great to make and again you can customise them. I recently made a patchwork one and it was super fun to use up my scraps. And it was also really cute, so I highly recommend. Another great thing to make is hats. I love bucket hats. I think they're super cute, and they're also really practical. I found this pattern that's got, like, a reversible inside. So it's actually two hats in one, which I think is really fun. And my ultimate goal is always to not get sunburnt in summer. And I've literally never been able to successfully make it through a summer without getting sunburnt in this harsh, harsh New Zealand sun. So I hope that these floppy hats will help me in this quest to not get burnt. But if you're not really a big fan of these floppy hats or the wide brim or the bucket hats, you can also make like a cap. Really cute, really easy to make and they're also really popular so there's a couple different hats for you to choose from. There's also so many different types of keychains one can sew which are all really adorable. There's these chapstick holders which you can literally put like a chapstick in and they hold it for you. 
Or you can even make these earbud holders, which is super good. You just need to clip it to your bag or your purse, and you'll never lose your earbuds again. But if you're not really into those, you can also just make a simple keychain. There's heart ones, there's flower ones. I've seen so many adorable designs. I really like this reused, like, old denim one. I think it's super snazzy, but there's so many different shapes. You can honestly do whatever you want. And they're really easy to make. And I think they're really useful because you'll never leave your keys anywhere. You'll never lose them ever again. And it's also a great gift idea. I know we kind of already touched upon bags, but I forgot to mention zipper pouches. They're actually one of my favourite things to sew. I've sewn probably like four or five at this point and I'm obsessed. They're so easy to make and I feel like zipper pouches like makeup bags and pencil cases are actually really expensive in stores. Like I've seen some upwards of like $40. When they're so quick to make you can literally make one in like 10 minutes and your favorite fabric with a good quality zip that won't break and it's just such a great little thing to sew. It's super cute and I highly recommend making one, honestly. There's also so many cute little design details that you can pick. Like, you can pick a contrasting inside to the outside. You can pick a contrasting zipper, which would be super cute. And I've also seen some really interesting shapes. Like, there's this cat one, which I think would be super cute. There's also these, like, crescent ones, these square ones, box ones. So many different options. I'll put lots in the description box down below so you can have a play around and really test your skills making a gazillion zipper pouches. <laughs> Another thing that's great to make that has a lot of different options is pillows. I used to think sewing pillows was kind of lame to be honest until I saw all these adorable patterns and I was hooked. There's so many ways you can customize your pillows. You can add little ruffles to the edges or like a cute pattern or you can even add like lacy details. You can even make different shapes. I really like these floor pillows that I've seen going around. They're like these patchwork ones and I think they're so cute. I actually made a floor pillow and it's like under the bed right now because we don't really use it but it was super fun to make. Really really easy. There's also these flower ones which are adorable again. So yeah there's a lot of different options with pillows and floor pillows and I think that that would be a great use of your time and also your scraps. There's also a lot of different options when it comes to the kitchen. There's so many different things you can sew that really help your life out. I love these oven mitts but there's also these pot holders that are really cute. I saw these uh, flower ones that I think are adorable and I kind of want to make them. I think they're so cute and they would really brighten up your space and add a bit of character to an otherwise boring kitchen. But there's also a lot of other things that you can make that are super useful. You can make these bowl covers which literally are just like a circle of fabric that have a little bit of elastic around them. And instead of wasting glad wrap or saran wrap or whatever you call it, you can just use these cute little bowl covers and they save you so much money and so much plastic. If you have a device like a phone, a laptop or a Kindle, you can also make these super cute cases. I really want to make one for my uh, laptop because I think they're adorable. I have seen a lot of the ones that have like batting in them so they're kind of like quilted which I think looks really cute. But there's also a lot of patchwork ones and there's a lot of different designs going around. And again, if you made one of these and also one of those zipper pouches, you could almost have like a stationary set which would be super cute. You could make them in the same fabric and they kind of go together as like your pencil case and your laptop case. I've also seen some people make these reusable makeup wipes which I think is so smart. When you're taking off your makeup, you normally use like one or two cotton rounds and then you just throw them in the trash. But here you can reuse them again and again. So you're going to be saving so much money and the environment at the same time. And it would be super easy to make. You literally just cut circles or squares out of fabric. Then just finish the edges and that's pretty much it. And to go with these reusable fabric wipes, I also found this like makeup bag and wipe dispenser thing. Which I think would be so useful. You could just put all your clean wipes in this little container on your shelf or whatever. And you'd be ready to go. Whenever you need to clean your face, just grab one, wipe it off, chuck it in the wash. Another thing that's great to make for the kitchen or the living room is coasters. There's so many different types of fabric coasters and they're all adorable. You can make the classic like a circle or a square, but you can honestly make any shape you like. You can make a heart, you can make a star, you can make a triangle if you're feeling like it. So honestly, the world's your oyster, just do whatever you like. I also keep seeing these bunting patterns and every time I see them I'm like I need to make them, they're so cute. Honestly I could just put some up right here and it would be divine. There's so many different types you can make, so many different patterns. I think starting out with the classic triangle and then adding your own details would be really cute. You could add like lace or ribbon again or you could add different colours to mix match 
all of the same colour family in different patterns which would be super cute and I think it would really brighten up your room especially if you haven't really decorated that much just be a pop of colour to really make it look a bit cuter if you feel like you're kind of getting into sewing and you want to like up your skills there's also a lot of different things that will actually help you in sewing that you can sew so I found these really cute pin cushions there's so many different types of pin cushions but I really like this hedgehog one I think it's super funny it's like the spikes of the pins but again there's heaps of different play on words when it comes to pin cushions like I've seen cactus ones as well which I think is super cute and you can also make some like ironing uh, board additives that will really help you. There's ones that like you can put sleeves in and then you'll like iron the fabric and then it will like look like a sleeve if that makes sense. I'll put some pictures up here but I hope you guys get what I mean. But there's a lot of different sewing projects that actually help you sewing which I think is really cute and it would be really useful. So now I've got a couple garments for you guys. So honestly garments are my favourite thing to sew. I think it's so rewarding actually trying on and wearing something that you've made to fit your personal body but I know it can be quite difficult to make things fit so a lot of these things are going to be super easy don't worry. One of the best things to sew as a beginner if you want to do a garment I think is shirring. There's so many different shirred tops and they're super easy to make once you get used to shirring and they're so easy to customise. You can do thick straps, you can do thin straps, spaghetti straps, you can make it like slightly longer and have a peplum and just don't like do the shirring at the bottom and then you have a peplum or you can make it even longer and you can have like a flowy dress if you don't show the bottom but if you do share the bottom you can have like a bodycon dress. So many different cute designs. And I also saw this video that actually has four different top designs. So if you guys want to make a couple different tops but you're not really sure where to start, this is a great one for you. I'll put it down below. Highly recommend you watch it. Another great thing to make as a beginner is a skirt because you don't need to really worry too much about the fitting, especially if you do an elasticated one. I love this pattern. I think it's so cute. It has these giant pockets and this elasticated waist. And I think it looks really, really fashionable, but it would be super easy to make. It would literally just take you like half an hour and you'd be done but if that's not really your speed I also found this wrap skirt that's super cute wrap skirts are great because they're so size adjustable you don't really need to worry about your measurements too much if it's a little bit too big or a little bit too small you can just tie it tighter so it's great and there's also this ballerina wrap skirt that I actually made a pattern for so I'll leave that down below um, I love this skirt, I wear it quite often and it's super comfy, it's super cute so if you guys want to make that, again it's all listed down below. Another great skirt to sew as a beginner is a circle skirt. There's so many cute designs you can do with a circle skirt and it's super easy to sew once you get used to it. There is a little bit of math you have to do to figure out the circle but it's super easy and there's a lot of uh, apps and a lot of things online that you can just input your measurements so you don't really need to do too much math. If you're not really a skirt girly another thing to sew is shorts. Shorts are really really great to sew because you can just have them elasticated at the waist again and there's so many different ways you can customise them. I really like these ones that have like the ruffle along the leg egg ledge leg edge I think they're so cute so adorable and I think they're meant to be pajama shorts but I feel like you could wear them out I would definitely wear them out you can also make pajama pants and you can either make them as actual pajama pants and use like a really nice like flannelette or something or you can just use a uh, different fabric and actually wear them as going out pants like they don't have to be pajama pants I used a pajama pant pattern and I used this really nice linen and it turned out to be like a going out pant. So you kind of use these patterns based on what you want and change up the fabric to be whatever your heart desires. There's also this really really cute sewing pattern that's like a top and a bottom so you can make a cute matching set or it can even be a sleeping set so I think that would be a really good thing to do and if it doesn't look great like you messed up a little bit it doesn't really matter because you're going to sleep anyway so who's going to see you so I think that'd be a great one to make. Dresses are also a great thing to sew and I think they're really really cool because like it's so impressive sewing a whole dang dress as a beginner. I found this really cute tiered one which I think is adorable. It would be so floaty, so fluty in summer. Just like float around in it. It would be so gorgeous. There's also this Elliot tie up front top which has been going viral and for good reason because it's so cute. It would be so easy to make again because it's got these ties. It's got these cute puff sleeves and I actually really want to make one. I think it's so cute. And I think it's honestly flattering on any body type. 
be so good to test your skills because it does have darts and a couple different fiddly bits but it's not too complicated so it's not too scary. And I think lastly I've got this really cute jacket. If it's like cooler where you are a jacket is great because it's kind of oversized anyway and actually surprisingly the thicker fabric sometimes is easier to sew than thinner fabric because it doesn't move around as much. So just get in there, use lots of pins, take your time and it should be fine and you'd get this amazing jacket in the end. Imagine being a beginner and sewing this, how proud of yourself you'd be. So I hope this pattern compilation gave you guys some ideas on what you can sew, whether you're a beginner or a great wizard of sewing, I hope that this gave you some idea and some inspiration. Sorry I haven't been uploading lately, I've had a lot going on in my life, I had a big test that I was stressing about, then I got really sick and now I'm having car trouble so we're not having a good 2024 but hopefully it will get better and I hope that I'll be able to post a bit more this year but please let me know down below what you want me to post like would you rather sewing videos, do you want tutorials, would you rather sit down chatty videos, what do you like because honestly I don't really mind, I'm just here for the vibes so let me know and I'll see you again next time, bye!